Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I'm introing. Sarah asked me to intro, and then I started introing. And she goes, what? This is morning for a family of four with a little puppy and two little two years and under creatures. I'm gonna go for a run. Are you helping out your dad? He's being a big help. <laughs> Building furniture. Building furniture today. Peter's done with work. And tonight, we're staying in, getting stuff done. Got two of these bad boys to build, mm -hmm. a dresser upstairs to build, and some patio furniture to build. Yeah. You think we're going to do it all today? Tonight? Ooh. Tonight, I'm making chicken lettuce wraps for dinner. I realize I've been talking about these like five meals for under fifty dollars TikTok thing that I have been um, like basing our dinners off of, and I've never linked it. So I will link it today, um, and I'll link like the actual recipe that I'm using tonight. Um, the sauce was just soy sauce, maple syrup, a little bit of sriracha, um, ginger, and garlic. And that's what the chicken's gonna be in. Um, I think I might like change up the toppings. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put them in lettuce wraps. Maybe I'll make some dumplings for Jamesy. So I shredded up some carrots and I also cut my finger, so that was kind of a scary moment, but we're, we're fine. Um, shredded up some carrots, put that in with the chicken. Made some couscous for the side. We have our fixins already, so it's lettuce. So I'm gonna put the chicken on there. Top it with green onion and avocado. On the avocado, I put lime juice and salt. And Jamesy already has his paws in the, in the fruit salad. Got apples, pineapple, and strawberry. Well, they look pretty delish. Even though they'll probably be eaten mostly with a fork. My, my lettuce, my lettuce wraps just weren't as nice and hearty as the lady in the videos was. Screech! All right, sometimes projects don't get finished. This is where we're pausing James's dresser. It's the exact same design as the side table here. Super cute, but the kids need baths and they go to bed. So I'm gonna hop out and hang out with Sarah and the kids and assist in baths. I'm very happy with how this is looking so far though. Here are our new entryway cabinets. I think we're gonna switch the knobs out to be black to go a little bit more. This is still chaos. A lot of it still cast, but we made so much progress tonight. I'm so proud of us. I think that's the first time we've even showed like our townhouse. It's an open concept situation, um, but we're going to have like little mini sections of this entryway, a little play area, dining room, living room um, next to our kitchen. And upstairs there's a loft and then our bedrooms as well as our laundry. And like we've been saying, we're, we're gonna show more and more. Um, but today was a big day because Peter finished a lot of our furniture that we've had to build. We're also gonna have this little coffee drink station. Hey Peter, why aren't you on the real couch? Cause I was putting together that um, Easel. And then I had to fall on this chair, it's comfy. We're watching some bucket list family. This is gonna be a two-parter because we were so productive today. I like have a release off my shoulders and it's only midnight. We made a vow these days to like the latest to go to bed is midnight because our little baby likes to wake up. Likes to wake up. However, last night was, he only woke up once. I woke she up. I'm supposed to talk about it. Oh my gosh. I woke up like at 6 a.m. like, what, what, the sun was up? Well, I don't even know if it was up, but it was just very, like, a long stretch. So get ready to see some Hollywood Studios, because we're going to Hollywood Studios during the day tomorrow. And tomorrow's 
tomorrow. I just called you tomorrow. Peter's. <laughs> we're, what are you trying to say? It's going to be your first time working remote from property. Yeah, yeah. We're going to. I work mean, not from, ever, but like. No. But now we're going to work in the morning from home. And my lunch. Drive on over to Disney World so the girl, Sarah, the girls, Sarah and the kids <laughs> could go to the park and I can be Are we okay? No. We're and closer can, to being okay, but. And I can work from a resort. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good afternoon from Disney's Hollywood Studios. James, he got an honorary pass at the turnstile from a cast member. It's got Nemo on it. They let him bump it in. It was so cool. So the boys and I have popped in to Hollywood Studios today while Peter finishes up his work day because we are celebrating James. He had his final evaluation for early steps here in Florida, which is their um, like state program for speech therapy, developmental therapy. Um, and now we've gone through this process in Illinois, in Florida, had to jump through a couple of hoops. So if you're ever in need of a friend, or support if you find yourself on the same path we are your people to message um, so yeah we are here we're excited this month we're getting started with his therapy again um, and so today we're I mean we go to Disney a lot <laughs> um, but today specifically we headed out right right when Peter was on lunch so that we could enjoy our day here to celebrate so Teddy is snoozing already um, and we're gonna like do some shows enjoy some AC and really don't have any plans <laughs> our first stop is to watch the Mickey short which I've never actually done before <laughs> so that short was great it had a bunch of clips from like other Mickey shorts and now we're indoors with AC again for Frozen sing-along Teddy's gonna have a bottle and we're happy my half four toddlers and little ones in shows at Disney are get a seat on the end in case you need to escape we proudly present to you the story of Anna and Elsa we also cordially invite you to join us in the singing of any of our Arendelle anthems with you guys my favorite companion bathroom it's tucked away by launch bay the air conditioning there is always so nice the boys are snacking having a drink of water we're gonna get ourselves situated for nap time I'm Sheriff Woody. into toy story land we're gonna grab a little lunch has sarah hooked up turn sarah by having the fuel rod in the backpack my phone died so we're fueling our phones and our bellies. Alrighty, we got a Ronto wrap for lunch. We're gonna hide in the tree. What's in there? Okay, this fabric I've been seeing, but I haven't, this is the first time I'm seeing it in this little kid's shirt. Jamesy might need this. And matching shorts. And if you're curious, it's $34.99 for the shirt and $29.99 for the shorts. So I've decided to venture to Crescent Lake. It is a, a little past nap time actually, so we just needed to focus 
and this is nice like more shade far less crowds it's very breezy over here just felt more comfortable plus then when we get to beach club where peter is we can be in ac and not worry about like again maneuvering crowds or being in anybody's way um so that's where we're headed our ronto wrap was like the perfect portion for all of us. James had the sausage, Teddy and I shared the pork, and then we all had pita, and then the boys also had applesauce I brought. It was just like the perfect little lunch for us all to share. Like the portion was perfect. Um, but it is hot. I just got dripped on by that bridge. So on that note, I'll enjoy my stroll. Um, and look forward to the air conditioning because it is toasty it's after three so hopefully that you know peak sun will disappear soon so nap time was a success for this child I've spent the last I don't know how long trying to get Teddy to sleep too but he was just ready to party and so now I have him back in the carrier we'll see if he dozes or not Peter should be off of work soon um, so I decided to regroup and <laughs> try again Teddy's all excited kicking his legs oh it's because you saw these cool Mickey cups also I really like this it has a straw and that's what I like in a water bottle and this mug is super cute a little raglan tea with it on there too. Do you see where I'm at? I'm at the beach club. Just finished working for the day. Had my afternoon here while Sarah was hanging out with the boys. And a bunch of meetings kind of popped up and came in my space. Look who I found! Hey! She's nice. <laughs> Teddy got back. Teddy got sunscreen in his eye. The poor deer. Where should we go? Alrighty, so we're back at Hollywood Studios. I did not think I was going to go to the park today. This is yeah. nice. Just a little snack to tide us over, but we are going to eat like real dinner once we get home. Yep. Just a little touch of the magic. Ooh, I love it. Here's our pre-dinner dinner. A custodial customer asked me where she could buy my shirt. And the shop shut down right now, sorry. Sometimes you just let them be who they want to be. <laughs> Even if that means taking a single bite of strawberry <laughs> and grabbing another one. Oh, wipe the hands on the shirt. Are they, are they, are they chewy? Right. That's, that's the next one. Oh, is that one? That one sounded firm. No, oh, nope, nope. Contaminated. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> For a little dinner when we got home, easy, quick, cheese tortellini Yay. from Aldi, and pie! with butter, and garlic, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, delish. All right, we are home. Two parter is over. I am tired. Side mini story. About three days after I got this iPhone here, I smashed it to pieces in the Starbucks on Main Street at the Magic Kingdom. I was with a very little bitty 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 James and a Carolyn getting coffee right before fireworks years ago. Um, so we finally decided it was time for me to get a new phone because it's actually having trouble charging and because we're in Florida and I will be periodically going to the office and seeing people in society. Probably shouldn't have a phone with like the case is falling apart, the glass is falling off every time I take the case off or I do anything. So I've got a new phone coming. That's fun, right? It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.